great smoking from uh, the Appalachian Trail. everybody this is will ko4 dfc and i'm about to uh go on a flight and wanted to take my ham radio to the beach so uh this is the first time i have flown with a ham radio and i wanted to show the uh, essentially the loadout that i'm bringing uh, in case uh, anyone else wants to try to fly with something like this um, what i have in here i've got a super antenna uh, including uh, essentially everything that comes with, um, I think it's the Super Antenna MPDX1. Um, it's the 40 meter and uh, 80 meter uh, coils. Uh, so it should do, you know, 40, 20, 10, and uh, 80 meters. Um, I've also got my counterpoises in here. If you've seen my other videos um, where I've uh, added the counterpoises and got to Slovenia on the super antenna from the backyard. Got all the counterpoises in here and um, also the tripod, everything else. All of that, while normally I would carry it in this black um, super antenna bag, I know that when I go through security, I have a feeling that this is probably gonna get pulled to be inspected. So what I've done is I've put all of my antenna gear here in the mesh part of my bag. So up here, and this is just to make it easier um, for whoever's inspecting it. I've got the two uh, coils here, both the 80 meter and also, um, actually no, this is the, uh, I think this is the 402010, and that's the 80 meter extension there. Um, I've got the tripod uh, legs as well as the antenna. Uh, it's not, they're not cylinders, but the antenna rods that connect. And obviously like I've got some of the super antenna branded um, stuff in here. So um, hopefully that will alleviate any questions uh, if, if they want to inspect this going through security and I imagine they will. Um, I've also got my, uh, my A55, AA55 Zoom Rig Expert. That's my antenna analyzer. I uh, just wrapped up here in a washcloth. Um, I've also got my Yesu 891, which is wrapped up. A BioNO uh, 6 amp hour battery. And the one thing about this that I've noticed, um, this is, I don't know if you can see it through the plastic here, but it's 108 watt hours. And for lithium batteries uh, from the TSA's website, uh, everything is allowed up to 100 watt hours. So the six amp hour bio and a power 12 volt uh, lithium ion battery is just above that limit. With airline approval, you can take up to two spare batteries of I think up to 160 watt hours. So I should be fine with this. I'm also going to take my usual cell phone battery bank, which is not that much. I think it might be like, um, something like um, a two amp hour battery. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but a normal sized cell phone battery bank, so that should be fine. Um, and I've got my antenna tuner. And so what I'm hoping I can do, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to, this may be the only bag that I take. What I plan to do is I'll be taking all this out, I'll be putting my clothes in, um, and then laying all of my radio equipment on top, just so that if this is inspected, um, it will be very easy to um, let, let any agent inspecting this get to it quickly and also where I can explain exactly what it is. I'll also be packing, um, I've got a dry bag to throw this stuff in for when I take it to the beach. And I've also got um, some coax that I'll, I'll just throw in on top of everything else. Um, and I'll be taking all of these bags, thankfully. I mean. 
the bag should collapse down pretty well. So if I pack everything else in here, then I should be fine. And I've also got a little uh, iPhone tripod in here that I use as a selfie stick and as a tripod if um, I need something to hold the phone if I'm making a video. So uh, anyway, um, I'm going to uh, take this through. Uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll give an update uh, here in a bit about um, you know, if, uh, if there's any recommendations from TSA that uh, they were willing to give me or um, anything that um, comes up when I go through. So wish me luck. So good news, uh, I made it through uh, pre-check at the airport without any issues. I uh, just wanted to show my final setup in case it uh, helps any anyone else who wants to fly uh, with a ham radio and a decent amount of uh, stuff and in their uh, suitcase. So just to show what I, I did here in the end, all of the radio stuff uh, is, is layered here. So antennas, anything that's metal, stuff like that, that all went up here. I also included the any tone 878. And then in the bag itself, um, I put the super antenna bag on top. And then we've got coax, the dry bag uh, was right here. And then clothes are all here. And then we've got antenna analyzer, battery. And that's, that's pretty much it. So um, again, no problems. Um, and, uh, and that worked really well. You could pack a lot in here. Um, even if you didn't want to fly uh, with uh, checking a bag, if you just wanted to do carry-on, uh, this worked pretty well. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Uh, pardon my socks, but uh, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hope this helps for anybody who's uh, trying to fly with ham radio.